Do you have these customers? Who are running a legacy Dynamics application on-premise and are reluctant to consider to move to Azure or Dynamics 365? And still running those outdated versions of Windows Server and SQL? But you find it difficult to make a comparison between the current on-premise cost and what that cost would be to run it on Azure or Dynamics 365. In this video, we explain how you can build in five steps a winning business case to convince these customers to migrate. But first, you have to make the choice if you focus on just the migration of the Dynamics application or include all workloads and with that make a business case to migrate the complete customer's infrastructure. I can tell you, the business case will look so much better if you include the complete environment. Otherwise, the remaining data center cost will kill the business case. For most partners, making a detailed Azure design for the complete infrastructure makes it a time-consuming, substantial pre-sales investment. But customers are only interested in a TCO analysis and in an accurate cost estimate of what it means to run all the workloads on Azure. And for that, you don't need a technical design. And let me show you how you can do that quick, accurate and transparent with the Smart Azure Calculator. Here a typical NAV 2013 customer with 25 VMs, including NAV, SQL, RDS and a couple of workloads. Use the template Excel sheet to import the customer's infrastructure data into the Smart Azure Calculator. After importing the Excel, the rest of the customer data is entered. The application is estimating the running cost based on benchmark data. These estimates can be overwritten by real customer data. Then the Smart Azure Calculator is mapping the existing VM configurations to appropriate v Azure VM series based on Gigabyte RAM core ratios in combination with workload purpose. As a case handler, you can change the selected Azure VM series and decide about the sourcing of the operating system. Here you can save a lot of money. Then an accurate estimate is made of the Azure cost to run the customer workloads on an equivalent Azure infrastructure in a so-called lift and shift scenario. As you can see, you can manage your margin. The presented cost estimates are customer net prices, including your margin. Next step is visualizing the benefits of Azure optimization, like right sizing, snoozing and the use of reserved instances. As you can see, the estimated monthly Azure Compute cost drops from $8,385 to $3,637. The total cost drops to $15,857. This is then includes the NAV licenses, related costs, as well as the entire infrastructure. This is the first scenario, showing the customer that they can save $3,000 per month to move the current old NAV environment as it is to Azure. The third step is to find out if it makes sense to use Azure SQL instead of SQL Server. The difference is presented as a TCO comparison. In this case, Azure SQL is not bringing cost benefits due to the high storage cost. Fourth step is WVD. The current RDS solution is running 95 users of hosted Office 2013. The presented WVD environment is based on Microsoft 365. The additional price to make the step from hosted office to Microsoft 365 in combination with WVD is an extra $1900 per month for 95 users. The last step is showing the cost impact of migrating the existing NAV environment to Dynamics 365 Business Central on-premise or to Azure Business Central Cloud. You can see in the Business Central Cloud solution, the cost consists entirely of monthly software subscription licensing. And if you would have focused on the migration to Dynamics 365 Cloud only, 
the customer would probably have said, too expensive, why should I pay $1,700 per month more? But if you look at the overall picture, you see that the cost level remained the same, but the big difference is that the customer will run now on Dynamics 365, fully integrated with Microsoft 365 in combination with WVD, the newest of the newest and always up to date. This will bring them major productivity improvements against the same running cost. And last but not least, the estimated Azure and Dynamics 365 cost of 18,843 per month includes your margin of 4,674 per month, which brings you over five years close to $300,000 contribution. You think this is a convincing business case? The application is generating a ready-to-go presentation within a minute. Want to convince more Dynamics customers to move to Azure? Let us help you as a free trial. Download the import template from our website and send it to info at thecloudlab.com. We will prepare the business case for you in the Smart Azure Calculator, explain how it works and give you free access to finalize it and then generate the customer presentation. Ready to go. Try it. You only can win.